Hi everybody, it's Gemma. Welcome back to Pampered Wolf and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be discussing and applying all of the products that I simply cannot do without at this moment in time. These are the products that I'm reaching for on a daily basis. These are the products that really lift my mood, lift my spirits, make me feel more refreshed, more awake and yeah, make me feel like I am looking after my skin without making too much of an effort. So I test out lots of different products on my channel. I wear lots of different products when I'm filming on my channel, but on a day-to-day -day basis, these are the things that I go for. So some of these items are gonna shock a lot of people. And also the non-existence of certain items in this video is probably gonna shock a few people as well. There's no mascara in this video. I mean, I like mascara. In fact, I love mascara, but I can do without it. And it's not one of those items that I have to have on on a daily basis. And at the moment, we're not going anywhere. There's no shops open apart from the food shops. And the height of my day is going on the school run a couple of times. So I don't need masses of makeup on my face. I just need to protect my skin and lift my mood. So these are the items that do that. Let's crack on with it. The first item I want to mention is the superoxide dismutase saccharide mist. Now with this being a hydrator, a facial mist, this is not usually one of those products that I would suggest to everybody that you need in your skincare routine. But the reason it's in this video is because I haven't mentioned this already on my channel, but a couple of months ago, we had a serious leak in our house. I mean, a serious leak. It's actually called a slab leak where the main water pipe that comes into the house breaks underneath the house and the water starts seeping up through the floor. It's been fabulous. So uh, yes, we've had a lot of water in the house and because of that, we've now got a lot of dehumidifiers and fans which are drying out the house, but they're also drying my skin out at the same time. So this is definitely a product at the moment that I cannot do without and I tend to use this throughout the day, along with a few other facial mists as well. But this for me is the most important. So this is from Nia and it's the superoxide dismutase saccharide mist, also full of absolutely phenomenal antioxidants. So I tend to put five pumps in my hand and then spread this all over my face. Now there is also a lack of a cleanser in this video because I tend to switch and change between my cleansers depending on how my skin feels throughout the day. So there wasn't one specific cleanser that I needed to put in this video, but obviously cleansers are really, really important to make sure your skin is well protected and clean and doesn't get, you know, nasty breakouts and all things like that. So once I've applied that, I am then going to apply the second product that I simply cannot do without, which is my CeraVe Moisturising Lotion, which is absolutely unbelievable. I have quite a large skincare routine. Not going to do it all today. These are my main products that I simply just cannot do without. A moisturiser is essential, whether you have an oily skin or a dry skin, you should be applying a moisturizer. There will be a moisturizer to suit your skin. A lot of people with oily skin don't apply a moisturizer because they can't find one that's not heavy. Honestly, get a gel moisturizer. It will pump your skin full of hydration and it will also nourish the skin without being heavy on the surface. Everybody needs a moisturizer. Once I've given that a couple of minutes to sink into my skin, I am going to apply my next essential item, which is an SPF. Now for me, everybody should be applying an SPF first thing in the morning and reapplying it throughout the day. This next product I've never mentioned on my channel before, but it is fast become one of my staple items in my skincare routine, especially at the moment, because this is slightly tinted. 
I love this, absolutely love this. This is from Clinique and it's their Super City Block. It's got an SPF of 40 in there. I always recommend that everybody use an SPF of at least 30 or above on a daily basis. So this falls in that category. Let me just show you the actual shade of this. Now the main ingredient, the main protective ingredient in here is zinc oxide, which can often give you a slight white cast to the skin. So to counteract that, they've added a tint to this SPF, which will stop that white cast from happening. So as you can see, the shade of this SPF is practically the same as my skin tone. Now, like I said, the tint really is only there to stop the white cast from happening. So if you have a skin tone that's a lot deeper than mine, you don't really need to worry about this. It's not gonna add that level of coverage that's going to make your skin look a lot lighter than it actually is. But for me, having this pretty much the same shade as my natural skin tone just takes the edge off and just gives me that little bit of extra something. I wish they did this in different tones because I mean, nobody would buy any other SPF if this came in lots of different shades. So let me apply this. I have applied some to the back of my hand, which should do my entire face. I'll have to put different SPF on my neck. I don't put this SPF on my neck. I use a different SPF because I don't like applying anything that might get on my clothes on my neck area because it's gonna rub on my clothes and the tint's gonna come off, that sort of thing. So let me just apply a little bit of this on one side of my face, just so you can see the difference, first of all. So I apply this with my fingers and I apply plenty of it. So I've applied the SPF to one half of my face. This half doesn't have any of the SPF on whatsoever. So as you can see, that's just natural skin. And this half does have the SPF on. As you can see, everything's just slightly more even. It's a little bit too yellowy for me, but I can definitely live with that. So once I've done my SPF, which I love, by the way, I just wanted to mention that it is better to apply this in light layers rather than applying an absolute bulk load straight away and expecting it to look good on the skin. Because of the tint in this, it can look a little bit patchy if you don't apply it in small amounts. So apply the first layer, let it dry down and then apply the second layer on top just to make sure that you're getting that protection and if you're not applying anything over the top of it, it doesn't look patchy. So I absolutely love this and uh, you get 40 mils worth of product and I don't think it's actually that expensive. I will link everything that I'm talking about in the description box for everybody so you can check out prices and go direct to store if you want to buy it. The next couple of products in this video that I just can't do without on a daily basis or that I've been reaching for a lot on a daily basis are both concealers. Now, both of these concealers are completely different. You apply them in different ways and they do different jobs, which is why they both feature in this video and why I use them both on a daily basis. You may feel like you only need one of these products, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna use them both today. Now, this first one I've been reaching for every single day because when I'm not doing a full face of makeup, when I want that, I've just got out of bed, but don't I look fresh sort of look. This is the concealer that I reach for. Now, this is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Concealer, and it's lovely. This is the first product with a pump action little brush where you press the pump and when it's a new product, you don't have to keep pressing the pump until the end of time, until the product actually comes out at the end. This took me by surprise when I first got this. I pressed it once and boof, concealer came out of the top. So I'm just pre-warning you, don't stand there for ages not looking at it, <laughs> thinking that it's gonna take ages to come out of the top because it really doesn't and you will end up in a mess. So let me just show you what one pump gives you because you may feel like you don't actually need the full pump. You see that come out there? It actually 
that's a lot more product than you actually need. So I would recommend just giving it a little bit of a squeeze, maybe half a pump, because yeah, that, that's, that's a lot of product. So I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit. I am gonna actually waste some of this today, which is a bit of a shame, but I wanted to show you exactly how much product came out with one pump. And I'm just gonna apply that where I need it with a brush to begin with. If I'm in a rush, I just use my fingers. So I'm just gonna apply that underneath the eyes. The shade that I went for, I believe is the lightest shade. I have no idea what shade this is. Where does it say it? I don't think it does. Oh, it does. Sorry, it's actually on the bottom. So yes, it is the palest shade. It's in 100, which is fair. So once I've got that underneath, the eyes, I'm also going to take a little bit of that on the eyelids. Just going to use my fingers to tap that in place and blend that out. This is such a great product. It sinks into the skin effortlessly, absolutely effortlessly. And this doesn't crease on me because it sinks into the skin. It doesn't sit on the surface. so. I really, really like that. It looks super, super natural, really, really fresh. It doesn't cover up all the secrets in your soul. If you're wanting a concealer to do that, this is not gonna be that. But the next concealer that I'm gonna show you that I also use on a daily basis on top of this one, if I need that little bit of extra coverage will definitely help you out there. So this is my next item that I can't do without. This is from Laura Mercier and it's the Camouflage Concealer Duo. I love this. Now, when I first got this, I absolutely hated it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So this has two ends. One of them is a corrector. So one of them is to actually conceal it's a really creamy consistency and uh, if I just show you what that's like on the back of my hand, really, really creamy, really beautiful consistency, but used underneath the eyes for me, this creases like oh, nothing I've ever tried underneath my eyes before. It's a super creamy, but it can be quite a thick consistency and I think I applied too much when I first used it and within seconds it had just creased absolutely everywhere. So the actual correct end I don't use underneath my eyes. I choose to use this in areas that I feel I need a little bit of correction. So I'll just place that on there and just pad that in with my fingers. This is great to have in your handbag for that little bit of extra coverage throughout the day. The tip of my chin always has a little bit of redness on there, so I like to cover that over. Um, this is in the shade 1N for anybody that is my shade twin. So that's what I use the actual conceal end for. But this has a double end. So on the other end, we've got a brightener and this is the end that I absolutely adore. So I'll show you the difference in those. So on the top, we have the corrector. On the bottom, we have the brightener, which is far more of a radiant finish, reflects the light, really helps with those under eye circles. So I like to apply this just in the corner and just on this section here where I have a little bit of darkness only the tiniest bit. And then I also apply a little bit to the outer edge. So I don't apply this all the way underneath the eyes. I just apply it where I need it. And I just feel like it just makes my eyes look a little bit bigger, look a bit brighter. I feel more awake, I look more awake. It really is a beautiful, beautiful product. Let me just reiterate, I hated this when I first got it. I thought, what is the point of this product? This is doing nothing for me. And I had a bit of a strop. <laughs> I think I may have thrown it across the room a couple of times. I just thought, what is the point of this? It just doesn't work. But I was using it wrong. 
So yeah, you need the tiniest bit of product and it just, it works. It really does. I mean, you can use the illuminating end for pretty much anything. You can use it on the top of your cheekbones. You can highlight underneath your brow with it. You can, you know, go down the center of your nose and just add a little bit on there to brighten that area up as well. It just, I really, really like it. And like I said, great to have in your handbag just for those touch-ups throughout the day, especially if you're like me and you're not wearing a tinted moisturizer or a foundation throughout the day. And this does the coverage for you where you need it. Really, really like it. So I'm just applying a touch of powder all over my face just to dampen the shine down a little bit, just mattifies everything and just makes it look a little bit more seamless. The shine of the Super City block is actually, it's not intense, but it's a little bit more than I want on a day-to-day -day basis. The powder that I'm using isn't a must for me. I generally reach for any powder, but this is the Laura Mercier translucent loose powder that I'm using today. So the next item that is completely essential for me on a daily basis is blush. And although I've only had this particular blush in my collection for around about a week, I just find myself gravitating towards it because it's just so beautiful, very easy to use, although the pigment is intense. So pre-warning you now, if you pick this blush up, apply sparingly. Otherwise you're going to go, oh, <laughs> and that's what I did on day one. Luckily it blends out beautifully. Otherwise I'd have had a problem. <laughs> so this is from Shiseido and it's one of their minimalist whipped powder blushes and it's just to die for. This is in the, in the shade Sonoya. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's zero one. So um, yeah, I, I just, it has a little lid to this that comes on the top of this pot. So it has some product on the top of the lid. So I'm gonna use that product. You need literally very little product. So I'm gonna take a stippling brush and I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the end of the stippling brush, very, very little. And then just dab that on the cheek like that and then do the same on the other side. And that is all I will be using. And then I'm gonna take the stippling brush and just buff that into the skin. You can see the intenseness of the pigment. This will suit practically any skin tone because you can layer this up. So the deeper the skin tone, you may need slightly more of this, but because of the intensity, I mean, you'll still hardly need any. I absolutely adore this. So there is a slight sheen to this. It's very, very similar to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder Blushes but this is a whipped cream. It's got iridescence to it that is very, very flattering on the skin. Very, very flattering. I mean, oh, just to die for. So I like to apply a little bit just underneath my brows and take it up in like a diagonal motion it just gives that lifted effect and just adds a bit of a flush this is pretty much how i'm gonna leave it apart from the next product which i'm gonna slip in here i don't feel like it's essential but it really lifts my mood every single time i put it on and it's lush so I want to give it a mention, although, you know, if I couldn't wear it on a daily basis, it wouldn't be a massive issue, but I would miss it. 
So this is from Lana Lips. I actually spoke about this on Instagram the other day. It's one of my favorite products at the moment. I love it. This is one of their tinted lip balms. It is phenomenal for dry lips. If you don't want a tinted one, they also do a lot of clear ones. My personal favorite one with the clear ones is the lemonade one. If you like freshly squeezed lemonade, if you like cloudy lemonade, that sort of flavor, you are going to love the Lemonade Lip Balm. It is just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's really, really nice. Anyway, this one is in the shade Perfect Nude and it is the perfect shade for me. So it has a little dispenser in the end there. Sorry, let me just focus that for you. So this does come out at the end. You can either squeeze it onto your hand or you can squeeze it directly on the lip. I just squeeze it directly on the lips. So this just had, adds a hint of colour, but it's so pretty. It really is pretty and that's me done. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful in some way. I think I am gonna have shocked quite a few people with the absence of certain products like brow products and mascara products, but I can only be honest with what I reach for on a daily basis and yeah. This is pretty much it. Yes, I have a much lengthier skincare routine, but out of my entire skincare routine, these are the items that I would definitely need to apply first thing in the morning. Otherwise, you know, I might cry. <laughs> and nobody wants that. <laughs> So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Do let me know what you've thought about it in the comment section below. Also in the comment section, let me know what your non-negotiable products are. Which ones would you seriously miss if you were told you weren't allowed to apply them first thing in the morning? Yours will undoubtedly be completely different to mine. You may have a mascara in there. You may have some brow products in there. You may have a bronzer in there. Let me know which ones you would not be able to do without. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.